No. Oh, that is fucking crazy. Yo, the symbolism. Yo, I'm gonna be 155.9% with you guys. I completely forgot that Borto was still a thing. <laughs> like we got like fucking mad reaction series going on right now, and I just I just forgot. <laughs> She looking dead, my boy. I thought she was dead, actually. I mean, she's still, like, on some machines or whatever. Apparently, she's not dead, exactly. Maybe in a coma. What was that about, bro? Why you look at the seashells like that? If something is triggering inside my boy, yo. It, it's coming out. He's going to want to kill Borto. Not that he's going to want to. He's going to. Yo, if Ikeda kills Borto, this might be the best arc. He's, Ikeda's got big dreams, but he can't really focus on them. Through all this war and his sister being attacked, almost dying. Like, there's so much going on in this gazette. You don't got time to build ships, bro. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm slow. I just remembered that this kid was the son of that one dude that Boruto killed, right? Wow. I, I, I completely forgot about that, bro. I just realized that right now. And because I, I was looking at this scene and I was thinking to myself, wow, these people don't seem too bad. You know, the Funato, they're, they're like normal people. Um, And I remembered that. <laughs> I mean, we know Ikeda is not a bad person. And this kid is just a kid. They're showing, they're humanizing the Funato in this scene. Which is, you know... Makes sense. It makes sense. That's the direction I would uh, expect it to go in. It's a classic case of a father thinking he knows what's best for our kid and what they should do. Making decisions for them and shit. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's interesting, man. That is interesting. That is interesting seeing Ika the side of the story and the pressure that's being put on him by both his father and his community, bro. This war has taken so much for, from these people that he now has justification to feel the way he originally felt, which was being pissed off at Borto. I think he was pissed off at Borto. I'm not sure. I remember that scene where they mentioned him. Um, and he, he looked very, very angry for hurting Sarah and his sister. But of course her sister was the one attacking, you know, like they're the aggressors. That is not Boruto's fault. That is not, it, it, it's not their fault, bro. Like the Funato, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. I, I don't know the politics exactly of this war. Like it's hard for me to remember certain details, but I'm assuming that these guys are the bad guys. Maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, then this is going to be an interesting arc. This uh, father is like hard headed. He's emotional, aggressive. That emotion that he carries comes out in aggression. I don't think. He don't though. Uh, he couldn't even say nothing to that shit. How can you say anything to that? You were locked up. Oh shit, yo. This shit is coming like a full blown argument. These are fighting words. Oh, 
Your weapon can't even touch him, bro. He made that shit. It ain't gonna disobey him. <laughs> That's crazy. Talk about being handed everything from your father. <laughs> Uh, I don't think he is being just shy. <laughs> You're in the middle of a battle. What the hell are y'all doing with this baby here? Oh my god. And again, all this pressure. All this pressure for war, yo. And his father is pushing that on him. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. This fucking guy. Bro, you're just trying to push these kids into war because you're running out of troops. You're running out of manpower, bro. That's the only reason. What a scumbag, bro. Oh my god, bro. Yo, what is going on this episode? This shit is fire. Damn, she remembered. Oof, no, relax. Your Funamashi leader is dead. Why do, why'd you fucking step on the seashells? Wow, she's just tripping all over the place, yo. Look at... Oh, my God. The way these kids are uh, conditioned to fight in this war right now, bro. Wow, yo. Lying to fucking protect her, bro. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is amazing, yo. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, okay. I was about to say, don't kill her off. Damn, bro, even the fucking guy in the room is crying. Oh, my God. Let me pause for a second here, bro. That was fucking amazing. I got chills on my arms, guys. Damn, bro. Ikada, Ikada has such a story right now. I wish that Borto and Ikada's relationship uh, was executed a little better. Because, I don't know, the writing between them did not seem that good uh, for building their friendship. I wish the writing was good for building their friendship because this fucking conflict that Ikada is in is amazing, yo. It is amazing. And we know that Borto is facing similar, like, uh, uh, struggles in decisiveness. Not on the level that Ikada is, but you can see both Borto and Ikada are... Uh, experiencing war like straight up war bro like this is insane um i, I don't know like i i gotta dissect this a little more but damn mm. now he's going behind his father's back bro because that's the point we're at right now but, you know, there's a reason there's so much faith being put into Ikada by his father. There's something special about him. No. Oh, that is fucking crazy. Yo, the symbolism. He ripped up his ship's plans. He said, fuck the ship. I'm swimming. No. And the water graphics are looking beautiful again. This shit look like Super Mario Sunshine. We saw a glimpse of this in, in his flashback. 
Yo, he's happy as hell. What? I don't know what he transformed into. What was that? Eager though? Eager though, what happened? I might have done something horrible. Oh my god, that was hot. That was hot, bro. I feel so bad for Ikada because he never wanted to be a part of this shit. But the constant pressure from everyone. And we're at a point where the pressure is being mounted on more and more and more and more. Um, Where... Uh, Boruto is like, are, are we doing the right thing? And, you know, like, uh, Boruto is now questioning it. But before, Boruto was just thinking, oh, we need to avenge Kagura, bro. That's what we need to do. We need to go out there and fucking kill this guy. And after doing that, he's realizing, what have I done? He's thinking about possibly what is going on over in the Funato camp. Someone just lost, they lost their commander. They lost the commander and, 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 and a little kid just lost his father. And how that correlates, how that affects uh, uh, Ikeda indirectly is insane. And it's crazy to think that at the start of this arc, we saw Boruto and Ikeda developing a friendship. Now, granted, it may not have been the best writing for them to develop a friendship, but still, I get the direction and I get what that was for. I get what the writers were going for here. Uh, and this shit is hot. What's happening right here is being well done, well executed. Like, no cap. This shit is like being. It, they're giving it such special care. Wow. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, bro. I, I can't wait until we get into like the encounter between Borto and Ikada. I feel like that's going to be emotional as fuck. Um, five out of five. And I don't give out five out of fives easily, bro. I give out five out of fives to, to, to shows like Game of Thrones, to shows like uh, Dororo, uh, Mushoku Tensei, bro. This is the first anime canon episode of Borto that I can recall giving a five out of five. Like, no cap. Wow, man. All right. I, I'm going to wrap it up because I got to watch the next episode. It, it came out today. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Uh, my head hurts, bro. <laughs> Fuck.